culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends, past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There may even be really adorably tiny food. And when it all is said and done, there will be a battle. Why does my accent keep changing? I'm a horrible voice actor. This is why I don't do voice acting for a living. You will lift your spokes. I can't do a southern accent now. You will lift your spokes and complete in the broom cooking arena. <laughs> Whatever. Dog. He's a dog that talks. He's going to have changing accents. That is his thing now. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the, in, interrupts, interrupts the professor's rousing speech. You look goofy. Hi guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I hope we were having a good summer. I really miss. Quiet! A light to class is a bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure? You're even in the right place. Don't you recognize me? This is my third year at the school. With you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I I'm... You're expelled. If you utter one more word before I finish. Look at that sassy pup. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Good thing I didn't come here late. Oh, look at his sad little eyes. Even Clark made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referring, or referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. This is where... We got cave CRGD to here. Dude, that thing is creepy looking. The class bursts into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles w walks into the classroom. As everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Uh-oh. Uh. Hmm. Your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try to better him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. But what kind? Chicken snack. You reach me- Oh no, chicken is bad for dogs. Shit! You reach beneath your apron and return with the chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite! Oh my gosh, how lucky. You should not feed chicken bones to dogs. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for a new star student. Who am I gonna piss off of that? The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. Hmm. You see the other students eye you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Settle down, settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. He is now English. As everyone rushes to the claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Oh! Hey, Big Papa! There's still a seat here! It's, it seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. Well... I'll sit by my friend. Two good options, but which will you choose? Sit by best friend. You move to take your seat by Miriam. I'm so glad to have you near me to support me through this class. Of course, you're my best friend. Who else would I sit by? Uh, Colonel Sanders? He has such a magne magnetic personality, and there's a seat open right next to him. If you had sat there, you might have gotten to know him a little better. I'd never sacrifice our friendship. Besides, I'm sure I'll get a chance to talk to him later in the semester. 
I've got three whole days like that. That's like a lifetime. So you say, but now that Miriam mentions it, that Colonel Sanders is just so darn dreamy. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Slink fast! Okay, now he's southern again. It's time for a pop quiz! Uh, the dog just has changing personality. That, that is what we decided. Hey! It's quiz time! This incredibly important and surprising short quiz will tell me if you are ready for the life of culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If train A is traveling to point B and tra train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. Looking at you, Pop. Uh, that's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to slam dunk. Night vision goggles. <laughs> Feather. That's right! What is the most important eating utensil ever created? A comically oversized fork. Spork! That's right! What food is the best for a broken heart? Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not much salt? Camel meat? A pancake that looks like a silly face? <laughs> Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt? That's right! Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's talking dog and teaches colors, or he is the bestest boy, yes. That's right! Oh wait, that's not him saying that. Yep, your total score is a perfect score, five of five. Wow! Oh wait. Wow, be honest, did you cheat? You look up to see Colonel Sanders has been watching your tally, you score. He's impressed. I know we just met. But I have to confess, I think you have a beautiful brain. Thanks. Hot diggity, Big Papa. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Hell yeah. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? It must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. <laughs> Everyone, can I have your attention? Is that my lunch? No. I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was, uh... It's about lunch. Everyone, cheers. Oh, everyone, he's not doing, like, cheers. He's like, everyone cheers for his announcement. Whoops! But I, uh, shh! Lunch, lunch, lunch! She said shh. In honor of our new semester, I prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. These drumsticks. <laughs> that must be smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath waiting to see what food that mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented. But were the rumors true? Is this? Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy, golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. You dogs farting. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing is less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I can say about that. Then, uh, What? You think you want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Psh! 
Shaw. Nah, my dude, nah. I'm just uh, drafting a last will and testament in case uh, uh, one of those ingredients is poison. Got him. <laughs> Look at his eyes. <coughs> they're, they're actually blinking. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and uh, I was like uh, writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. All right, bitch, you're going down. He's mine. Oh, please. Look at this guy's hair. I can't get over it. And he's got ninja bandanas. Well, Van Van. Oh, wait, Colonel Sanders. Well, Van Van, the man man. If you don't want any. I'll take his. <laughs> Oh, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There is enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his pocket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Oh, just mind to meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Save the moment and everything that tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim towards the light. I'm going to try to identify every flavor. You let the food rest in your mouth and focus on it, scrutinizing every flavor. Salt? Maybe. Pepper? Too obvious? Oregano? Basil? Maybe. But there's something else. Something dark. Something spicy. You dig deeper. 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 Yes. Even deeper still, until you find it. Could it be... You really did it. How bold. How adventurous. To use... You try to go even deeper into the sea of flavors, but this revelation alone is more than you can handle. You snap out of it and realize that this information was meant to remain a secret, and yet... Now you know. A mantle of responsibility now rests upon your shoulders. I know the secret ingredient. As you look around, you realize that everyone in the room is consumed by the lunch. No one noticed that you've traveled through space and time. After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. I approach him. Con Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wonder if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> ha ha ha! How bold of you to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flowers, flavors that will make my f fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. That bird thing looks like uh, one of the clay bird bombs that Datara makes in Naruto. It's just that it's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two whole, more whole days to get to know each other. Why does he look all creepy? Oh, I thought that was a sweat drop. He's clearly not going to give up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. Oh, oh, I did the wrong voice at some point, didn't I? I know that they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? Aww. You've got Moxie, I'll give you that. 
Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, and then leans in. You can feel his warm press as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use... It's something my great-grandmother taught me. Wow. Oh, wait. Wow. You never have guessed that, or you'd never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. And... Definitely isn't the flavor you tasted before. So now you're two ingredients closer to knowing the full recipe. But you didn't tell Colonel Sanders that. While you wrapped up in the huge revelation, you noticed that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the girl, look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue now on, continue on after I graduated. It sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will lead my work on the world. How can you can bet on that? Alone together for the first time, you figured now is the perfect moment to show your personality to you. Now game showing your own strength? Nah. Wow, with the big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Be modest, but thoughtful. Yep. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoy your food. Now you've got his attention. The flavors were complex, but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery. It was perfect. I appreciate the compliment, Big Papa. I'm sure. Oh, wait. I'm sure you'll be a big success. My colors are too close to his. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. We should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. You step into the massive cooking area where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they can need. Look at this place! It's magnificent! Finally, we get to show our stuff! Wait a second! Oh no! We have to show our stuff! What if I totally blow it? <coughs> you're not going to blow anything, except maybe kisses the crowd of fans you're going to learn when you signature adorable tiny food creations. She makes tiny food? That's adorable. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Oh, I didn't get a chance. Oh, she's sad! Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, it is. Me and you, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> Want to be my partner? Aww. Sure, Big Papa. I'll prepare our station. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. <laughs> Hello, no partner! Beep boop, bizz, bizz. Choose, choose the robot. Oh my! Two potential partners! I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you have to pick four. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Pa uh, Clank? Sorry, Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. Heck yeah, look at this stupid little robot! It's okay, I already ate. Not entirely clear if Papa has any idea what the point of school is even at this juncture. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. I wish that was animated. Warp, warp, warp. Hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. Tissue! I hardly know you! <laughs> Clank judders, a panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Looks like you two will be fine. It's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide it up into steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which dish? Wow. Uh, KFC slipped there. 
Which dish do you suggest your partner, Colonel Sanders?